Hey, what's up guys? If you're gonna be doing some marathon training and you're struggling to figure ways that you're gonna get your mileage in, well, I've got an awesome idea for you. So let's get stuck in. Hey guys, welcome. If you're new to 40 rounds, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you'll subscribe to all our latest training videos, including my marathon training and stuff like that. Go over to our Facebook page, join our Facebook running community. Again, if you're doing a marathon or half marathon next year, there's a wicked support network on there. Help you out during your training. So 40 runs, Facebook running community is where you want to go. And don't forget to vote for 40 runs in the 2019 running awards. So like I was saying in the opening, sometimes in marathon training, you look at your plan and think, how the hell am I going to get all that mileage in? Well, a cheeky little way that I learned when I was doing marathon training was to start doing commuter runs. Now, what I mean by commuter runs is obviously going to work, running into work or running home from work. Now I run home from work, uh, mainly because I think if I go to work after a run, I'll fall asleep. So, have a look at work, see if there's a shower, see if there's training, faci training facilities, but also maybe there's like a gym close or something like that that you can get changing and come to work. But my sort of, Top tips really is get off your train early, get off your bus early, park your car a little bit further away, anything like that, that you can then run either into the office or out of the office. So like home, I mean. And what you'll find is you'll start bagging runs and your mileage will just kick on. And you'll be surprised when you look at what you've done, you'll be like, right, I've added some mileage. Now the essential thing to a good commuter run is to make sure that you pack sensibly, right? Now I've got my rucksack on, let me see that. Now in this bag, this is from Lululemon, right? But this costs a fortune, just get one from like Amazon or whatever. Um, but the important thing is to pack right. So when you go to work, dress light, take stuff that maybe you can leave in the office or you can change into, leave your clothes in the office, leave them in the car, whatever. But what you take in, it's got to be like minimal because you otherwise you're carrying so much weight. So what I learned was, I like started taking my running stuff, but like really light stuff, and that helped me. Next tip really is to know your routes, right? Because especially as we get dark in your marathon training, you want to know where you're going, and you want to try and work out where you can look at your miles and think, right, I've got to get six, seven, eight k, whatever, in the week. I'm not talking about your long run for your commute run, by the way. But like, think about your route and what you could probably nick like a 5k, 6k, something like that. Ideally, you know, with some hills or whatever really, but look at your routes, plan your routes, and even drive them, cycle them before you go out and do them, so you know where you're going, because when it's dark and that, it could be a bit annoying, you don't know where you're going and stuff. Look where you can cross over, things like that. So sort of suss your routes out before you do your commute routes. But I think what happens is, is Oh, forza cycles. But slowly but surely, your body will get used to doing those commuter runs. You might feel knackered the first couple, but after a while, your body kind of gets used to it. And you'll be surprised how easy it makes your week getting a commuter run done. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm gonna show you what I've got in my backpack so you can see the kind of stuff I'm taking in, because it's pretty useful to know, I think. Otherwise, you might end up trying to take the kitchen sink to work. So let's get stuck in with it. Right guys, commuter bag time. So I find out what I've got in mind. As I said in the opening, I think uh, I mentioned this is my Lululemon bag. I've had this, Christ knows how long, but a few years now. So, uh, just to quickly run through, I always carry a couple of packs of tissues. Um, I also have some Nurofen or whatever in there, some painkillers. I also have a spare set of headphones, just in case my headphones ain't working. With regards to headphones, when I'm commuting, I always take these ones, the AirPods. Uh, they're nice and small and they're compact and they go in there real easy. As I said, commuting bags and what you take in your commuting bag is essential that you just downside everything. Um, if I'm not wearing them in the summer, I'll wear these. These are my aftershocks, but at the moment I'm running in um, with my uh, AirPods, uh, my rail pass. Uh, my wallet is downsized to this. Again, little things like this, it makes a huge difference, right? Um, a coat, I've got a... Um, Reflective coat, you've probably seen this in some of my other videos, but the reason I really like this one and it's perfect for commute running is you can 
fold it up, right? Look how small I get that. And it is as light as anything. Straight in the bag. Cap. You never know when it's gonna rain. Straight in the bag. Um, I've got running hat, nice and bright. Uh, make sure you can be seen when you're running, commuting. Stick that in there. Sweatband. And then, um, I've got my um, flip belt, I don't use that, it's in there because uh, I don't know why it was in there really. And then I've got my stuff that I wear, so this is all stuff by Nike, obviously you can wear any other brands, but uh, this is like one of them um, tops, mid-layer tops. Again, look, you can see how small this stuff is going in, right? Um, shorts, yeah, I don't really need to talk about that, but they'll just roll in. The essential thing is with this is just to roll it up. And by rolling it up, you're saving a huge amount of space. Um, that goes in there. I've already got one of them. Um, they're my running bottoms because it's cold now. That's in there. Shut that up. Oh, gloves. I always keep a pair of gloves in there because it is getting cold in the evenings. And that's it. Job done. That's all that's in there. Don't weigh nothing. Um, yeah, that's it. Simple as that. And that's it really, it's as simple as that. So like I say, if you're struggling with mileage, or thinking about, blimey, where am I gonna get all these miles in for this marathon training? Have a look, see if you can do a bit of commute running. I can really, really recommend it. But that's it from me, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to stick some comments in below, let me know if you're already commuting to work, running commute, I mean. Don't forget to check these videos out, they're pretty awesome. And I'll catch you guys later.